All right, Tiger, what are you looking at? Well, once upon a time, I was a White House correspondent. Honestly, it was an awful job. You mostly chase the president around the White House grounds. You shout questions with very little hope of answers. And obviously, you are crammed into a room that hasn't been updated since 1980 with some characters, to put it nicely. Although some, I assume, are good people. And while I mostly hated it, the job taught me a lot about how power works in this country. Most fundamentally, it revealed to me that the White House and the press are equal actors in a fake game for ratings and for propaganda. That the structures in place are set and put into the place for mutual career benefit, and that the American people are mostly forgotten in that equation. Now, one of the ways that this is done is the seating chart in the White House press briefing room. Yeah, I know. It sounds mundane, but please stick with me, because what I'm about to show you is exactly how the system is rigged. Worse, how the system is put into place to deny you the accountability you deserve of your White House and your press corps. The seating chart of the White House press briefing room is not up to the White House, contrary to popular opinion. They don't care where people sit. The seating chart is determined by the White House Correspondents Association, an organization I was once a card-carrying member of. Now, that organization is comprised of already existing news outlets that cover the White House, who then govern and set the rules within them as to who sits where. In general, getting called on in the White House press briefing room is a lot easier if you have a seat. The only way to get a seat is to be a member of the WHCA. And even then, you have to have been in for years to petition to get one. You have to have been certified by them. It's a whole process. Who do you think gets the best seats? Why? CNN, MSNBC, Reuters, AP, The Washington Post, The New York Times. You're starting to get the idea. It's a guild. They protect their own. More importantly, they protect their proximity to power. This matters because the questions you get in the briefing room are basically the only time the administration is held accountable. So if you control the questions, you control the accountability. Now with Omicron is a perfect excuse with getting even less accountability there used to be before. See, before COVID, the briefing room was still open. You could just walk in and stand up and try to get called on. It's how I used to. Here's a photo of me doing just that in a tie that you might recognize. Here's the problem though. During COVID, the White House briefing room was restricted, understandably at least before vaccines. The WHCA accommodated people who used to stand like me with a rotating seat in the briefing room. Not perfect, but at least it was something that allowed reporters from non-traditional outlets to at least get a chance to ask a question every once in a while. Some of those questions from my friends have been great. They actually pushed the White House outside of whatever contrarian stuff that at least Fox News was pushing that day. But now, because of Omicron, you are witnessing how institutional power protects its own. The WHCA has now brought back restricted seating in the room, which includes permanent spots for a representative from the TV, for the wires, rotational seats for everybody else. But here's the thing. The WHCA is literally 99% vaccinated, and they are already required masks. What are they protecting people from? A cold? And here's what's worse, as my friend Amber Anthe explains. Previously, when the WHCA limited it attendance in the briefing room, there was one rotating seat that all members could qualify for. Now, the briefing room seats are limited only to outlets with previously assigned seats. This means that smaller and more independent outlets that used to stand, people like me, now cannot get the chance to attend a briefing to ask a question, which in practice means this. The only people allowed in the briefing room right now are the people who work for the establishment media. This is the White House press briefing room we're talking about here. If you ask most Americans, they can recall it on TV or from a movie. It is a symbol of the free press. But now, it's a symbol of what the media really does in this country. They protect access to power for themselves, and they rig the system. I can assure you, the people happiest about this are the Biden administration, who, you know, now don't have to ask, don't have to face shouted questions from pesky reporters from smaller independent outlets. People wonder how and why people who have huge platforms online are ignored by people in DC. This is the answer. The people and what they want do not matter. Only thing that does is the people already inside of the guild who work with those in power to push the narrative. Now look, a lot of the people who work in the WHCA, they are good people. 
They really are. But they are trapped inside an already existing system. One of the most, imparts, import, most important parts of the landmark manufacturing consent was describing in detail how if you are somebody who wants to stir the pot or challenge the system, you will never even get the opportunity to do so. Someone as irreverent as me is not even allowed in the briefing room today if I wanted to ask a question. And here's the course, the real one. When does this go away? Right now is a pivotal time for this country. Jen Psaki literally mocked tests from the podium a couple weeks ago. The president is one of the least approved presidents in modern history. Americans are pissed, and they really do deserve answers from their government. But they're being robbed of that by their supposed representatives in the free press, and it shows you how hollow so much of what that rhetoric was during the Trump administration. When they say freedom of the press, they really mean freedom for them to continue spinning lies and to divide us. Most people know in their bones that this sucks, that the media is awful and they want better. I'm lucky at least enough to have been inside. So I've been inside the system and I can explain to you that mechanisms, those that are in place which determine what you see and what you hear. And more and more, it is being revealed as fake. So spread the word because the more the legitimacy that they lose, the more ability there is in the future to change. I mean, Crystal, this is one of those tiny little yeah, inside catch, things. Nobody, I mean, nobody. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues you get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.